כמובן, ככה אני אמר, אבו קסניהו, יוסף פייט, ולאורטקאט, 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 sababu <laughs> Hapo na fikiria nizwa liyambago ya niko katika andomini yangu Na nikuwa ya kwamba Hile wizara inaweusika hile ya liba na hile usikutu Unambu ya mbao wanashua kusimu nizia Kwa sababu usiko na hini private information Ya mambo ya masikuto yao ni mikumu sana Kwanza kusema hati pipi kakua mbagami Lakini kini naomba mimi Mwawese kusikisana Kini biyashara siwezi kwenyelea Iyo ni mambo na unga mkono Na ni mambo ambayo na kukiria tutaweza kuakalia Mwile hayo mambo ya tawezi kana Sama kukiria investment ya ndege Ya kukiria tutaweza kukiria 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 Na tutaweza pia kukiria kwa kukiria wale mawekezaji sababu kana kama kuna mizigo inaweza kubebwa kila siku na ndege ya kubebwa mizigo iwe kwa nakasi ya kila wakati na kukiria tunaweza inuwezi kwa hata kwenye kinweza kwenye kinweza katika hizi ma cargo plans na kia kukiwa lesenye kwa hivyo hayo ni mambo ya kukiria siku ya loo Waziri, shukuli na mifango ya kutuwa zile mbegu za kitekinoloji za kutukana kama GMU Pengine mefikia wapi kwa sababu kuserikali kwa mbiko mesema ita roll over next year Pengine paka saizi mifango mefikia wapi Kuna njaribu kwa kutisia na kuelezea wakulima kuweza kutumia mbegu ambazo sinaweza kustahimili kile makali ya kiewa kuma hizo ndroko kisa mtumia kiangazi na tumekua njusi kile kamero nambaye ni njua na ni watu wa menivelo hizo varieties sasa mbegu na kwa hivyo rende tuko hapo na tunezua tuko na hili akasama tuko na miwa tuko 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 ton hiyo mambo tuko hapo kitu cha maana sasa nyinyi kutusaidia kufikishia wanainchi ama wakulima ujume wajue ya kwamba hizo mbegu zilipu ziko waweze kusifikia na hili waweze kusipana kwa hivyo ya orende thea na na cha maana kulima aweze pia kuweza kupata habari vyema kujua ni mbegu gani tunaweza kuzwa katika eneo eneo lipi la taifa letu na ile mbegu inaweza kuwa kupea faida zaidi ama na kusalisha chakula zaidi so hayo ni mambo yanaoendelea lakini tutaweza kuhakikisha kwamba habari hii inafikia watu kwa kwa, kwa watu wengi inavyowezekana ili waweze kupitia mstuko Uh, my name is Dennis Ojeno from Citizen TV. Uh, just with regard to development of uh, national policy, uh, maybe you can tell us uh, where are we uh, in terms of that, and also what sort of impact is this going to have uh, in our country's uh, food security? Can I have uh, sentiments from you? No, I'll ask the PS to answer that question. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Logan and me. With the permission of CS, let me take 
it's important to inform you in regard to the food safety bill. We started with the food safety policy because it is important that we first develop a policy, then after we develop the food policy bill. With the food policy policy, that has already been passed through the stakeholder engagement. The ministry has signed off and uh, prepared the cabinet memorandum, which is ready now for tabling the next cabinet sitting. That will get the approval. Once it gets the approval of the cabinet, then we shall then forward the food safety bill. Now, why this food policy and food safety bill? I mentioned earlier that we've just been having uh, silos of uh, independent agencies that were regulating food within their own jurisdiction. But we realized that was affecting the country because we're not acting in a coordinated manner. As a result, we developed that policy and also the food safety bill. Within the East African community, we had agreed as part of the resolution of the East African uh, community is to have one uh, agency that is dealing with authorization and approval of uh, importations of food that operate or use the same standards. But we realized even that was a problem, and we had a private member's bill in the previous parliament. We had an engagement with the private member's bill, I mean the private member, and also the committee of health and the committee of agriculture. We all sat together and realized that we need one bill that as a coordinator for the entire agencies. All other agencies will undertake to do their work as per their jurisdiction. But at the national level, we need a coordinator so that they look at each of those agencies. What role are they playing? Uh, if they are not playing their role, then they are singled out that they are not playing their role in accordance to the legislations and the regulations that are there. So that is the reason why we have that safety bill to bring in the food safety coordinator at the national level to look at all the agencies, not in a manner that they are going to control them, but to follow up and audit them. Because what we want in that uh, food safety bill basically to allow the food business operators to policy themselves within their business. The reason why we need this is because we do not have enough manpower to keep on policing the food and business operators. So that bill then lays down the procedure that the food business operators are supposed to follow. What we do is we do regular audits on them and confirm compliance with the, uh, the, the regulations and the provisions that they are within that period. I mean, that act that they are licensed to operate in. That's basically all about the food safety policy and the food safety bill. To give more power to the business operators, food business operators, to take control. And the role of the government is to do audit, what you call risk audit, to see what are the areas that we are saying risk are going to be for. Uh, we shall be looking at now with proper infrastructure, and that's why the country governments come in. They do license this uh, food business operators. When they are licensed with these food business operators, what are the requirements that they are supposed to apply? Let the business operator fill in the form and indicate what they have. If they don't have, then that's when you tell them this is what you don't have, and therefore you offer get out of the business because that's how we want to do our business. Our concern as a government is to ensure that the food is safe and therefore we want to give, we do not close businesses, let the business operators comply voluntarily without getting enforcement from the government. How much do you see this coming in, uh, being implemented? Oh yeah, I think uh, as I mentioned, the policy already is in the, in the cabinet, uh, the bill is ready. Uh, to the table also of the cabinet and then on the way to parliament. We've also uh, pledged and promised that uh, this should be one of the first priorities within our ministry that that bill is passed. Uh, the most important thing is it brings together the Minister of Health and the Minister of Agriculture. Because the Minister of Agriculture are the one who are producing. The Minister of Health are the ones who are licensing the, uh, the, the, the food business of the to the public health act. So you can see for the one, when we say one to four, all the agencies are in there. If it's a farmer, that's the role of the Ministry of Agriculture. To ensure that the farmer is uh, informed in terms of how to produce the food, uh, the food and then how to handle that food. And then the person who is selling now food to the consumer must also know how to handle that food. So it's a well-protected uh, bill that will be able to take this country to the next level.